Hello humans, how goes it? <laughs> Every time I do these recordings, at least lately, I've just been like, how are you dealing with this fucked up energy? Um, which is, you know, it is crazy. However, for me personally, you know, I have decided to surrender to a lot of this energy and just like, I'm confused about a lot of things right now, but you know what? Like, I'm just like, I trust in um, the universe and my guides and myself enough to really be like, you know what, I'm just going to flow and like, you know, I trust that I will be guided in the right direction and that, you know, I will, when it's time to know the answers to certain, you know, questions that I have about myself, my relationships and just everything, I trust that I'll know the answer when it is time to know. So, um, you know, obviously when you think about physics or just whatever science, you think about when you have these two repulsing forces or when you have these two forces and they, when they attract, it works when, you know, they resist that attraction. And I feel like I'm just like butchering this right now. Um, <laughs> when they resist that attraction, then it's, it's like they, you know, it becomes harder to like, when you try to pull two magnets away, like that's hard to do. Like it's the opposite force. It's like, a. anyways, the point is, is that when you resist to these, the way, you know, your soul wants to evolve, then you, it becomes harder for you to like, you know, do the things that you usually do. Especially now, you know, it's where right now the climate is just like, no, everyone wants to shed so much stuff and we have to get out of these old systems. And so that being said, we are all wanting to release very intensely and quickly. And, you know, the more you resist, the harder that gets. So anyways, today I'm going to talk about the new moon happening today, October 8th, 2018. And so really, you know, the way I've been looking at the new moon situation at this moment of the chart that I'm looking at, the sun and the moon are conjunct. They're right next to each other. And so, you know, and the moon is, when we're in a new moon phase, the moon is in between sun and earth. And so us being on earth, we don't see the bright side that's, you know, facing the sun. So we get the dark aspect. And at that very degree, with that alignment, that's really the dark moon. The new moon is when you see that first sliver. So it's like, oh yeah, we just started this new phase. So I love that because whenever I'm looking at the calendar and I'm like, oh, shoot, it's a new moon. And I'm like thinking about like intentions and stuff. And I'm like, well, I kind of want to still release some of the stuff from, you know, that I did around the full moon time or the waning moon. So I love the dark moon gives you, you know, that moment to really sit with yourself and just step into the void, like step into the darkness. And this is this is really what's happening or what I would say would be suggested during this time today. If you if you're able to catch this dark moon or whenever you can catch a dark moon is really sit in meditation or, you know, whatever feels good to you, even if it's like in the shower or like whatever. Just take a moment to yourself and, and see, you know, what your intentions are and specifically to this new moon, since it's in Libra, I would say, especially we have Venus retrograde. I would say, you know, sit with yourself and, you know, begin to ask, like, what are my values and desires? Like, what do I need personally for me to feel safe and secure? You know, what do I need from my partnerships? You know, so how can we balance both? You know, how can I take care of myself and take care of others? Because obviously Libra is about that balance. And so sitting with that and taking that time to think about what is good for you will give you even more insight of what you might, what intentions you want to put out there, like during the new moon. So let's see what else is going on here. So, you know, obviously Venus is retrograde and it is in the fifth house. So you have the sun, moon, and Venus retrograde in the fifth house um, of this chart here. And I'm pulling from Denver. And so these, the fifth house is, it's Leo. It's, it has the Leo archetype. So really what's going on here with the sun, moon and values. It's also, you know, how do you feel validated? Like, cause that's a big thing with Leo. It's like, it wants to, it has a desire to feel validated. 
um, to, I mean, sometimes to feel even special, you know, so this would be a good time to do some like obviously self-love rituals or whatever you do. Um, also, you know, it's good to, um, be creative at this time. So, I mean, there is a lot of energy going on where a lot of us, all of us are being tested. So how about thinking about what your challenges are and putting that into art in some way, like whether it's like, you know, recording a YouTube video talking about your experience the past like month or, you know, like writing something or drawing or whatever it might be. Um, just making an intention to channel this energy that you're feeling this, you know, stressful energy or heavy energy that's coming through. Like think about that and transmuting that into something that makes you really happy. Right. And then putting that out there because that's, you know, that's how it should work. Right. And so let's see another thing happening here is that we have Pluto, um, and Capricorn, and, you know, Pluto's going to be in Capricorn up until like probably 20, I think it's the, tw the end of 2023 to 2024. So really, and this is like a generational move. So this is more thinking about from the collective point of view, but you can bring it down to the personal, which is like, you know, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, which you have, um, you know, just thinking about the limitations you place upon yourself, these old bel belief systems, these old desires, um, thinking about that collectively and individually, and also thinking about how much we've suppressed, you know, and like how much, um, you know, on an individual and a collective level. And so with that, it's like thinking about that suppressed energy, you know, or just even thinking about ways that you can, you know, create new patterns that serve you better and channeling that out through creative arts or, you know, through writing or, you know, just making attention an intention placed upon that. And so, um, yeah, there's just, you know, there's tons going on and really, you know, this is a time for us to like, look at the world around us and like learn about through our environment and communicate our desires and needs, honestly, just communicate honestly in general, you know, like, um, and so, that I would say is a theme of this new moon. And also I pulled a few cards before I looked at this chart and, you know, started recording and just to see where our energy is at right now. And so right now we're in a place where we, like I said before, like thinking about what we really want for ourselves, what we really want in life, whether it's work, love, or just like in general, what are our desires? Because we're at this point like I've mentioned before, we have become, you know, we have, our DNA has, we have awakened more of our DNA. And by we, I mean, through this event that happened earlier this year. Um, so, and also by just a collective agreement, um, we are in the moment where we are like returning back to the feminine. We are connecting with our source within. And so you have the power to manifest anything that you want. Like everyone's manifesting so many things really, you know, quickly and an accelerate right now. And so it's like, you know, be careful what energy you're putting out there, what your thought patterns are, because we're manifesting things at an accelerate rate, accelerated rate. So just keep that in mind. And so understanding that you can have whatever you want and understanding that you can co-create this with, you know, source energy or your guides or whoever, your higher self. Understanding that you have this power is key right now because a lot of us, you know, are in this place where we don't know what move to make or we keep going back and forth between different things and we're, and we haven't really gotten settled on like one answer and it's just so confusing and it's just like, oh, I want to know. And you feel like something's happening, something's coming, but you just can't put your finger on it. And right now we just need to have patience and trust that it will come and we will have the answers when, when we're, you know, supposed to. And so the best thing to do, the best way to do this is by setting intentions, like daily, weekly, however, whatever works for you. But like, even with the candle, making, making a like really grounded intention and in where you're going every day, waking up and visualizing the, the way you want your day to look, visualizing what you, what, I mean, what you want to feel like, or how you want to feel, feeling how you want to feel, you know? And so it was interesting because the last card that I pulled was um, <laughs> the card of conflict, you know, for the, the conclusion card. And it was actually 
um, Saturn and Leo combination here and it's dragons like I yeah they're just intertwined and kind of like a mess and the way I looked at it is like you know Saturn and Leo like we were just talking about Capricorn in the fifth house Capricorn and Leo taking the struggle and the pain taking these limitations and or the suppress these suppressed emotions and really taking that and putting it into some kind of art and putting it out there in the community, like recycling it back into the world as love is, is the biggest thing you can do right now. The best thing you can do to help your situation, because you don't want to hold on to all of these suppressed emotions, all of these, all this negative energy, because it's going to be harder, you know, to do, to manifest. And, and you're just going to feel it at this moment in time. It's like, if we don't get in this flow of like, you know, transmuting this energy and just recycling and release and letting go, then, I mean, it's, we're going to be, feel so heavy. So I feel like that's, that's the main theme of this new moon. And, you know, Venus is the ruler of, um, Libra and that's the outer aspect of Venus, like the masculine aspect. So it's like, and it is associated with beauty. And so it's taking that beauty and putting it out there into, in these small groups. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Urania underscore universe. If you are interested in booking an astrology reading with me, you can book that at uh, www.uraniauniverse.com. And right now I'm having a sale on past life reading. So go and check that out. Love you all.